What's going on YouTube? GS right here. So in today's video I have some great news for those of you waiting for an iOS 15 jailbreak. And no, it's not another kernel exploit. It's much better than that. This video is brought to you by AnyUnlock, a software that allows you to unlock the screen passcode, allows you to bypass MDM and even remove the password from your iTunes backup if you forgot it. Check it out in the link below. There's a free trial available. So multiple things are happening at the same time in the jailbreak community. Those are all massive news. At first, a new core trust bug has been discovered and apparently it works below 15.5 and Jake James, a developer in our community, said, quote, if I'm right, this bug affects below 15.5, allows apps to be signed forever, and gives arbitrary entitlements. If you're on iOS below 15.5, stay there. They also mention here arbitrary entitlements was the important missing piece. And also this bug doesn't work on iOS 14 for now. But that's not the only good news. Teamstar also released a lot of important things about their jailbreak, which looks like check rain. Now an important distinction first. First, this bug over here works on all devices, not only the CheckRain compatible devices, while what Teamstar posted only works on the pre A12 devices. So these are two separate news in one single video. So Teamstar said in here, quote, in case you're curious, this is the RAM disk I'm booting in my Checkmate based iOS 15 jailbreak. And if you go ahead in here and check out the Reddit page, they did post everything in here. So they said, when you reboot the device, all changes to rootfs are gone. I didn't care about persistence yet. Maybe it's useful for you. Enjoy. They also posted this, quote, I guess I can't help but tease you a bit more. Here are the patches I used on my iPhone 8 to boot into iOS 15.1 jailbreak. Remove the passcode and kernel patches may be incomplete. I didn't test the tweaks, just silly. So what Timstar posted in here is basically a lot from what would be a check rain like jailbreak for iOS 15. So if you're waiting for a jailbreak on iOS 15, these components are exactly what you need. It's not a complete jailbreak yet, but it's a huge chunk of one and it can be turned into one. This has been demonstrated before to be working fine on iOS 15. But at the same time, if you don't have a CheckRain compatible device, what Jake James talks in here is actually what you need. This bug posted in here, which is basically a proof of concept for Linus Henzi's core trust and driver kit bugs, this one is actually pretty nice because it would allow a jailbreak to be created on iOS 15.4, 15.4.1, 15.3, 15.2 and so on, and applications will be signed forever no more seven days resigning that's actually incredible and we haven't had that in years it also allows arbitrary entitlements which means that the jailbreak will have no problem being created with this this is actually huge and it works on iphone 13 12 iphone 11 10s 10s max 10r iphone 8 and so on so this one is not only for the check rain devices so right now we basically have the beginning of check rain so to speak on ios 15 to 15.5 because this one supports 15.5 as well but we also have the beginning of a normal jailbreak for the rest of the devices on 15.4.1 and lower massive news for the jailbreak community and as i said this would support all the way up to 15.5 all of these versions can end up being jailbroken thanks to these two things in here the jb init by timstar and this proof of concept for linus hens's core trust and driver kit bugs so yeah i'm gonna keep you updated with that but yeah this is definitely great news thank you for watching i'm geos now till the next time subscribe to stay updated and peace out